Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm 27 and I had a kidney transplant in July of 2008 and uh, I also had a pancreas transplant at the same time and my pancreas failed and I had to have it removed the day after. I have been diabetic for about 22 years now and um, I didn't take care of myself when I was younger and I'm suffering the consequences now. So uh, my kidneys were only functioning at 20% when I found out that I needed to have a transplant. Well, I had to be, I had to go through a lot of uh, testing and stuff like that to make sure I was eligible, eligible to be on the list first. Um, and then they go from there, seeing what your insurance will cover and what kind of fees that you'll have to pay yourself. I have three different kinds of insurances. I have Medicare, which covered me after my surgery for up to three years. Um, I have the Pennsylvania Department of Health's renal program, which will cover me for the rest of my life. Um, and I have Keystone Health Plan East, which I get through my employer, um, which really only covers doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And I still have a pretty hefty copay. Um, Medicare covers my immunosuppressants and also any doctor's visits that my insurance from my employer won't cover. Um, and the Department of Health their program covers me for any other medications besides immunosuppressants. Uh, Medicare has really been a tough one because um, they didn't tell me that they were only going to cover my immunosuppressants. They told me that I would have prescription coverage and that was it. So when I found out that I didn't have coverage for all my other medications, I wound up having to pay a lot out of pocket until I renewed the uh, renal program. And that's very expensive. If I didn't have insurance, it would be about twelve hundred dollars a month and um, about fourteen thousand four hundred dollars a year and that doesn't include you know the extra medications the insulin that I take for my diabetes um, anything else that I might need if I get sick or if I rejected my my organ that's that's not even a thought included in that okay. even the copays I mean I have three different insurances and the copays are still pretty expensive every month out of all these pills that I take, the insurance pays uh, a portion of what they cost. Uh, the copay is about nine dollars for each bottle, and um, yeah, that runs pretty expensive when you're taking all that plus two more. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ninety dollars a month just in medication, not to you know add in the copays for doctor's visits and everything else. I have to see an endocrinologist, I have to see a nephrologist, I have to see my primary doctor. It gets costly. Um, my medications I take right now are Prograf. I take that twice a day, four pills each time. Um, this is Celsept. I take that twice a day also, three pills each time. And these are the main immunosuppressants that I'm on. Um, this is Valcite and that helps me not get any infections. I take that once a day. Um, this is Regolin. It helps my stomach not be upset when I take all the medications since I have to take so many. Um, this is prednisone. It's a steroid and uh, that's a part of the immun immunosuppressants. And this is Pepsid, another thing to help my stomach not get upset. Um, and I've also had um, some urinary tract infections, so they put me on Cipro, which is actually what they give people for anthrax. <laughs> so it's a pretty strong antibiotic. And uh, the doctor also just put me on back on two medications, Bactrim, which I'll be taking once a day, which is also to help me not get a urinary tract infection, and uh, Cardia, which helps my body absorb the Prograf better because Prograf can kind of be a double-edged sword. It can hurt your new kidney as well as keep your body from rejecting so the cardia helps you um, absorb that prograph easier so you don't have to take as much and it also brings my blood pressure down because I suffer from uh, high blood pressure also. I will always need the medications, the immunosuppressants for the rest of my life. I'm going back to the doctors in December to see uh, about my next pancreas transplant so I'm going to do it all over again.